Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, MC Crawl here, uh, and we're gonna go with another tutorial today. Um, this one is going to be uh, a series of T flip flops. Um, I'm gonna only use T flip flops. I absolutely know that work in SMP and single player. Um, this one is uh, the first one I'm gonna show you is the most commonly used one by me. Uh, there is another one that I've actually uh, I don't know if I invented it or not, but I haven't seen it anywhere else yet, and who knows, there could be a smaller version of the one I made, so. Um, well, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, guys, so the first thing you guys should know is that it is, uh, at minimum, uh, five wide and four deep. Um, I do believe it is only two high, but we'll find that out in a second. Uh, the first thing you want to do is start off by putting a repeater on top of a block. Then you want to put a block in front of the repeater and a block in front of that block. Uh, you want to put a torch on the side of the block with the repeater and then a piece of redstone in front of that block and another torch in front of that. Then you want to put a repeater uh, next to the redstone torch. Uh, all repeaters need to be set to four except for the one that goes into the T flip-flop. Uh, next, you want to put three uh, in a row with uh, one on top of the repeater. Uh, then you want to put a torch on top of the block that you put on top of the repeater. A repeater facing out from that torch and then a piece of redstone on there. Uh, after this, you want to put a block in front of the repeater and a torch in front of that block and a torch on the side of that repeater I mean look on on the side of that block with the red sun on top of it then another repeater in front of that so make sure you have all your torches set I mean pff, repeaters uh, and then put redstone in front of the uh, unit here <laughs> Let me see. Did I get that right? One, two, three, four wide. Yeah. Did I start on the wrong block? I did. I was trying to line that up with my uh, Roku there. Um, well, this this can uh, show you guys how to not do it. Oops, hold on a second. Um, what you don't want to do after you've set this all up. Let's put a button on this sucker. Oh my god. Uh, what you don't want to do is take the power and bring it down. And the reason you don't is because this torch right here is actually reliant on being turned off by this power. So the power has to go straight into it. Whether it's powered by this uh, redstone or powered by... I mean, by this repeater or powered by this repeater. Um... So it has to come out in this direction. So there's our T flip flop, and let's throw another button on that side, and you guys can see the power turn off over there or turn on, and then you can see it turn right back off. All right, guys, that is uh, the first um, T flip flop. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, guys, so this next flip-flop, uh, T-flip-flop, actually uses two uh, pistons, uh, just standard. So, um, first thing you want to do is start off by putting five blocks in a row. Uh, then, at the end of each one, you want to put a repeater. Set each repeater to two, and then you want to put redstone across the top of all of them. Uh, after that, you want to put, uh, let's see, one sticky piston on the outside edge of the repeater. Outside edge of that repeater. Then put a block next to the repeaters. Doesn't matter what, uh, what kind of block as long as it can transfer power. Alright, then you want to put some redstone right at the end of the uh, blocks that you just placed. And then you want to put two blocks in front of the pistons 
one more block on one end and a glass or transparent block that does not uh, that, that does allow for um, power to be transferred like so and then you want to break down and put a redstone torch right underneath the glass or a transparent block park this back off and then run some redstone wiring out to your unit and then let's see you do not want to do this um, and the reason you don't want to do this is because uh, pistons have a hard time updating when there is a piece of redstone that is powered two blocks away from it so we'll just bring this out like so I guess we can no, let's do it that way. All right, and uh, that pretty much completes the T flip flop. Uh, let's go ahead and test it. Nope, it, that's it resetting, and that's not it. What are we doing wrong here? Am I 15 blocks away? No, there we go. I knew I was doing it right. Why isn't it working? I don't know. I have a feeling this might be too many blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's what it is. If I hit this button, it'll work. <laughs> if I hit this button, the far one this won't work so you gotta make sure you are within range so let's move our button and I'm pretty sure we'll be fine after that alright these do work on any setting Naturally, this right here would be a little bit slower. They do work on this, but it gets glitchy on SMP servers. So, that's why I suggest two or three. It'll make sure that it works properly. Alright, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to see any other T flip-flops, just please let me know. Alright, guys. See you on the flip side.